about a crash that killed two adults and two children. They were killed yesterday when their car plunged into a retention pond. Yeah, as questions about what caused this crash continue tonight, we are learning new details about the people who were involved in all this. Local 6's Amaka Obaka joins us live from Osceola County tonight. Amaka, you spoke with a relative of some of the victims. This just has to be heartbreaking for them. Something was going on in that vehicle that was not normal. Bob Godding says moments before this black car was submerged into this retention pond, he saw it swerve in and out of traffic. There was some altercation or a fight. or I thought it might have been a car jet for, for all I know. Seconds later, the car crashed into this pond, and the four people inside, an entire family, died. These pictures are from the Facebook pages of Julie Lopez Elias and her longtime boyfriend, Ulysses Montero. They were riding in the front seat while two of their kids, four-year-old Julissa and this five-day-old baby, were strapped in car seats in the back. It was shocking. I mean, I, I would have followed the car if I had been going in the same direction, but I was going the opposite way, and there was no way I could turn around. Another eyewitness called 911 and says he saw the car come up on the sidewalk and skid like it was on purpose. He also mentioned seeing convulsions from the driver. A family member tells Local 6 the couple grew up together and have been together since they were teenagers. But in the build-up to her pregnancy, Lopez never mentions Montero on Facebook. We went to where Lopez lived with her mom, but the family didn't want to speak to us. It was shocking, you know, right, right before Christmas. I mean, it was a tragedy. Right? Now, people have been coming out here all day asking us what happened and also leaving flowers behind in memory of this family. I also tried talking to the manager at the apartment complex where Julie Lopez uh, lived with her mother, but when I spoke to them on the phone, they refused to comment and hung up the phone. Eric? Amaka, I know there was some confusion over this. You just confirmed, though, that 